Hi guys, and today I thought I would film my November favourites. It is the first day before I will be filming Vlogmas and I just thought I would film this video and put it up really quickly for you because there's a few favourites that I really want to talk about and I really like watching favourite videos so if you like them then this is for you if not and you want to watch a vlog then there will be one up on Saturday so I'm going to get into it because the light is going to go soon I'm also trying to really find a good setup so it might change but for sit down videos I'm kind of, I mean I know I've got a radiator and like uh, but I'm trying to find a good setup so just bear with me a little bit and the first few bits I want to talk about is makeup so the first thing that I've been loving this month is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation and it is I wear the shade vanilla I've got it on today and it's just a gorgeous coverage but quite lightweight so it doesn't feel like it's clogging up your skin it's not too dewy or too matte it just kind of sits in the middle and I really like it and it kind of lasts quite a long time as well I use it under a primer found primer moisturizer but I would really rate it and I think it's like six seven pounds but it's lasted me pretty long and it doesn't look like it's anywhere near used up so I really recommend this if you're on the hunt for a lightweight but base but that has got coverage then this is a good one and to be you to uh, what I've been using that with recently is this also bourgeois I didn't realize that I had two bourgeois products and this is the blur the lines concealer in ivory and it looks like this with the lid on I, quite, I really like this packaging actually that you can see kind of the shade and I've been using this I don't use this on spots because I don't tend to use concealer on spots I find it leaves them like looking worse for some reason maybe I just haven't found a good spot concealer but I use this under my eyes and kind of have started to use it um, in this region kind of like a highlighting function whatever they're called um, so I really recommend this and I think they both work together really well my last makeup favourite is something that has been spoken about so often on blogs and YouTube but I love it and it is the Naked Heat Palette I actually won this in a Twitter giveaway and which was awesome I've had the Naked 3 palette which I really don't like because I didn't find any colour payoff it was all they're all very shimmery which I don't mind I like shimmery colours but it was, I would tap it off and then put it on and nothing would come on. So I really haven't got any use out of my Naked 3 palette, which is quite sad. But this one I love. I think the colours, oh, the brush has fallen out. So there's the colours. And I've been loving, I, I mean, I haven't really experimented with these four colours. But all of these colours I use on a daily basis and I love them really good payoff totally these these kind of colours especially like the shimmery coppery ones really suit my eye colour which is blue and they really pop and stand out when I'm wearing copper colours so I would totally recommend this if you like eyeshadow palettes I'm actually really loving this so I wanted to do a post about it because well, I'm not doing a post I'm doing a video but yeah I really like this so I would highly recommend I've been just putting it using it with my Real Techniques eye brush 203 and it works really well next up is a skincare favorite and it is the Charlotte Tilbury Goddess Skin Clay Mask and it says it visibly lifts, smooths, brightens and tightens pores for baby skin now when I first, I got this for Christmas last year so it's been quite a while since I've had it and I really didn't get on with it I think it was because I was putting 
quite a hefty amount on my skin and I, it was breaking me out and I was thinking I've heard such good things and it was really expensive as a gift so I was kind of a bit gutted and then I read the back and it says apply a thin layer so I was like hmm I'll try this again and I've been applying a really thin layer not too thin so you can still see it's on but it isn't kind of like the ghost I don't like a ghost I just apply a really thin layer and then it leave for 10 minutes I usually leave it for about 20 and I love it it's like probably my go-to skin mask at the moment it just does everything it says it smoother for smooths for smooths firms and plumps and it really does it's I mean it is pricey but if you have the budget or you wanted to get this put this on your Christmas wish list I would totally recommend because it is great and this is going to last me ages I know it only says 12 months but I'm definitely not throwing this out <laughs> I think I've still got a while left um, before it gets bad and of course, like all Charlotte Tilbury products, it is gorgeous packaging. So this is real, something I've been really enjoying and it does feel luxurious on the skin which is good. <laughs> Next up we have a book favourite and this is a book that I have read previously. I think, did I get it for last Christmas maybe again or maybe my birthday in April? And I am currently rereading it because I do like to reread my books, which some people might find strange. But if you watch this channel, you know I love self care books, and I feel like they're too good not to just read again. I want to kind of, I feel like the second time you always take a lot more from it because I don't know why, but yeah, I really like reading books again. And the book I am currently reading again is The Fern Cotton Happy. And it is, how does she describe it? Finding joy in every day and letting go of perfect. And it's got some beautiful illustrations in. Let me find some. And it's got totally different, like there's bits about mindfulness, there's bits about depression, there's things like the secret of slowing down, finding balance. Um music, like the effects that music can have, your body, there's things about being a parent which obviously I don't have, I can't relate to but it's still nice to read and I just love this book, I would really recommend it, it is quite chunky so it will be a quite good coffee table book and I don't think there would be anyone out there who wouldn't benefit from reading this because look, I just love how bright the colour is as well. Um, I love Fern Cotton anyway really, she's such a babe. So if you're into this kind of books, this one is a good book to read. My last favourite is quite random and it is the Janina Ultra White 7 Day System Non Peroxide Maxi White Whitening Strips. <laughs> and I did get sent these a while ago because I did do a post with them, but they are amazing. Recently, I've come to the conclusion that I think I drink too much tea. Well, I don't think I drink too much tea, actually, because I don't think four cups of tea is a lot in a day. But I've noticed it's having an effect on my teeth, which I don't want. Um, I've always had pretty white teeth so I don't want that to change and um, so I've been using these strips I only have four left these are the little packets and you get one for your top and your bottom and you leave them on for 30 minutes and then once you've taken them off they've kind of got um they're not uncomfortable to wear at all I quite like wearing them actually I usually wear them in like pop a face mask on get in the bath by the time I'm out and you know moisturised it's usually time to take them off and they kind of leave like a gel gummy texture on your teeth which you can either like rub off with your finger or I usually just brush my teeth with water afterwards just to get that off but it really they really do work I think the other day I used about three in a row because they, it does say they have the set, you, you, you can either use them for seven consecutive days or whenever you want basically. Um, I don't think I'd do seven because 
I quite like things to last and you know that is getting rid of quite a lot of them and they are really helping so I thought I'm not sure how much they are I'm gonna link I'll write everything that I have mentioned but maybe like 12 pounds so I would really recommend these and I like the fact that they're non-peroxide so they don't sting or anything like that and that was it for my November favourites. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you for Vlogmas on Saturday. Bye, guys.